guys, how you guys doing? Ah, it's episode six of Bad Girl Weezy Vents, and I am motherfucking pissed off. I am angry. I'm really mad. Um, today's topic is why do people do jobs that they can't do? Okay, here's what's up. You see my face? I have a piercing in the middle of my face. Okay, and this piercing was done wrong. My septum piercing is wonky. My septum piercing is not straight. My septum piercing is off center. What it happened was, on the 24th of June, on the Friday, I decided it was damn time I got my system piercing done, okay? I was brave, I had the courage. I was like, girl, you better go to that tattoo parlor and get yourself pierced, right? So I go to my regular guy, the one that I trust, and he doesn't do septum piercings. And I was like, oh my god, no. But there was a guy who had recommended another place for me because he had got it in his system piercing done there, right? And yeah, so I go to Brampton Team to a place called, I was called Tattoos and Piercings with D. It's on 33 the Porter Street by Bram, you know, Bram St. the Road. Up there by this place that they did with really yourself. Oh my god, yeah. It's there. And when I get there, number one, the lady was not there. So, um, so there was another girl who was also getting a nose ring that day. And she had called the lady. She had no way she's gonna be here in 15 minutes. So we wait for her for a while, sharp. And then she arrives after like 10 minutes or something. She arrives. We go and then she sets things up. And then yeah, and she was speaking about her and my show back in the symptom piercing will change your whole it's a change it will change your look, you know, you, whatever. And I was like, yeah girl, I'm not ready, I'm be ready. She had to, she pierces me, she pierces me. She pierces me and oh my god, I almost died. Almost that came okay, like it wasn't that painful, but it was painful, you know, because it was painful, like my, my eyes were tearing and stuff. And then when she was dying, she asked me, Ooh, okay, your septum is a bit to the right, but now it's nothing serious. So I didn't take it seriously, I didn't even pay attention to her when she said that because I'm thinking, yay, this guy with a septum piercing died, woo! You know, I'm so badass, shit. I go home. I go look in the mirror when I get home. I'm like, okay, this thing is kind of a bit skewed. Maybe my nose is skewed. I don't know. I, I, I'm over, I, I get over it. The next day, I'm sitting south and south. I'm just ready to just show off my fucking new badass piercing, right? Oh my god. I, yo, I almost cried. I was so mad. I was, I wanted to punch somebody. Like, I wanted to kill someone. Notice that this piercing was done diagonally. She went in from the bottom up. So basically, she pierced like the entrance. The entrance point is forward, and while the exit is more back. So my piercing is skewed. No matter what I do, it's you know. So I go, I Google shit, and he was like, yeah, no. Sometimes it's skewed because it's it's sore or whatever, whatever. So it's most piercings are hard to be done. This, 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 this. And I was like, nah, come on. I was so mad. I was so mad. Monday, I decided to go and look for her to go go back to her because I mean, you are the cause of this whole problem. So we should be able to fix it, right? So I go to her on Monday, and at first she's like, "Nah, just put in a smaller, uh, a smaller um, jewelry, and the problem will be so big, just because your jewelry is bigger." I was like, "No, girl, this thing is off center. It is off center." And then she's like, "Wait, let me see." And then yeah, I was like, oh, "Okay, I yeah, never see it. This side is more forward, while the other side is more backward." And I'm like, "Yeah, girl. So what you gonna do?" And then she's like to me, "Well, you're gonna have to take it out, let it heal, and then." Yeah, it'd be done. And I was like, okay, cool. So now, will you take it out for me? And she's like, no, I'm not. I can't, I'm not gonna do that. I only, I don't take out people's piercing, yeah, I'm jewelry. I was like, but she's like to me, yeah. Well, if you're gonna have pier jewelry, you must learn how to take it out yourself. I must take it out, and then after a week, I must come back and then she'll redo it. Well, after two weeks, I'm up, but then not no later than two weeks. I was so mad. It's like, girl, I can't take this piercing out, and you're gonna give me two weeks for me to come back so you can redo it. Because you don't fuck that. You had one job. You had one job, girl. One job. And you messed it up. Why do you do symptom piercings if you're not going to do them correctly? I mean, if cancer's been boo, let go. 
to a butchery and buy a goat's head. I'm gonna take my smiley and learn practice how to do straight fit and beer things, bruh. Because when you done, this shit is done. Like, I tried so hard, she wouldn't take it out for me, and I tried so hard the day before I took it out, and I couldn't take it out. This shit was excruciatingly painful. It was painful. Actually, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna let this shit heal. I'm just gonna let it heal for two months and then go to another place. A place where people are reliable, people are good at what they want to fucking do, people that are recommendable. Because this hoe, and with her digital fucking tattoo and piercing place, parlor, whatever, cannot, is unable to, she definitely is unable to do sex and piercings. And I'm so mad. Like, I was so, like, imagine you take my money, you're so excited. We say, I'm gonna go and get your piercing, I'm gonna go to pay whatever, but I'm gonna come out looking hot. You know, I'm gonna come out looking whoops. But no, I am out here looking stupid as shit. Because I have a piercing that is wonky. I have a piercing that's not straight. I am going through pain. You know, I have the cold. You know how painful brain and all it is. And then you have to, like, it's a mission having this piercing in my face. But I'm gonna go through the pain again. Because there's one person who said that she can do certain pieces, but she can't do them right. She even used a clamp. How do you pierce me wrong when you were using a clamp, boo? Like, do you not analyze? Do you not know where the soft spot is? If you've been doing this for so long, how could you fuck me up like this? Why do people do jobs that they can't do? Why? So when people go to, at least it's not a tattoo. Because if people go to tattoo places, and get screwed over hard and have a permanent Woo! Woo! I was gonna be mad if she did a tattoo for me and she did it wrong. I was gonna flick him. Oh my god, even now, I'm even thinking what I'm gonna do to her. I'm thinking, well, what can I do? I'm thinking, can I go to her company? Like, I don't know what I'm, I want. I want revenge, but it's fine. I'm gonna let it slide. But to me, it's like, don't say you can do something that you can't do. When you go to the police station, watch oh, see here is my case. This is what happened to me. And like, I literally went, like, June even. I'll go to the cops, told them that here's my issue. Motherfuckers referred me to the wrong place. Wasted money to get to them. Wasted hours of my life. I could have been studying, I could have done a whole lot of things. But I had a case of fraud. You're gonna take me to a domestic violence area, court, whatever. To go put in a street in water. How? Wasted my time. Any stupid person can see what this is a case of fraud. But you, you, do, you don't, but you don't know your job. I know your job more than you do. You have me go around in circles because when I don't know your job, why are you a cop if you don't know your job? It's like when I was pregnant, I went to the doctors. I had a doctor. Nigga went to a website to go check where I should be at four months pregnant. He he went to a site that I used to I went I used to sit on every single damn day. He literally went to www.babycenter.com to go look up my symptoms and to look and look at my baby's progress. And I'm doing I have to do it by myself. I paid you 700 rand. I sat at your office for a whole hour waiting for my appointment, and you're gonna fucking go to Google. Why don't you do your job? Why do you have a degree then? Don't do a job that you can't do, bitch. I'm so mad. Why do people do things like that? Ah, no, no. I'm mad. That's okay. In two weeks' time, no, in two months' time, my, my girl, my homie, my G, my Christina Yang, at I see the underscore nerd, at I see the underscore nerd, hey girl, she's gonna take me to a proper and recommendable tattoo and piercing parlor where she got her set to piercing done and it was done correctly and I will get redirected I'm gonna get myself re pierced but for now I am so mad guys please do yourself a favor do not go to tattoos and piercings by D in Brampton don't go there do yourself a favor I love you guys so much <laughs>